Vermont with Connecticut Ties is on a mission right now to keep health care providers safe. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz has more on the idea behind something known as gowns for good. As personal protective equipment ran out across the U.S., Thane Moore had an idea. Some of my peers are battling and fighting on the front lines using trash bags that have no arms or no legs uh, to try to protect themselves when there's a shortage of masks and face shields and gowns. Moore is a physician assistant at a Burlington, Vermont hospital. It's a little bit scarier than usual walking into the emergency department. The hospital he works for has enough PPE for now. There's a big chance that we may look for alternatives. Thane figured with thousands of schools canceling commencement ceremonies, why not give unused graduation gowns new life? Did you ever think that these gowns would be turned into PPE? I cannot say that I thought of that. He's been getting donations from schools, bookstores, and companies across the country. And they're coming new and unwrapped. The first shipment will go to the epicenter, New York. Other states on the East Coast, including Connecticut, will be next. We can see kind of this wave progression of the disease definitely extending across the border into Connecticut. And some of our area hospitals are in dire need of PPE. The goal is to pinpoint which hospitals need it most. When it boils down, it's all about a protective barrier between the individual healthcare worker and the patient. More will handle shipping and delivery so we can put them in the right hands. Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.